A year after the launch of Windows 10, Microsoft is releasing the platform's largest update yet to celebrate the occasion. There are a number of feature additions, big and small, with some pretty important technologies being added that have the potential to radically change Windows 10 moving forward. There's plenty to go over, so let's get started. The Start menu is the first change most people will likely notice. The All Apps and Recent Apps list now show up all the time, and other icons are consolidated onto the left. The Start screen still has its fans, though, especially users of tablets and other small devices. Microsoft has been working to make Windows 10 start screen feel more like it did in Windows 8.1, and the All Apps list is now full screen again. You can move between All Apps and the tiles with buttons in the upper left corner, and the Start screen now shares the more unified hamburger menu with the Start menu. Virtual desktops are getting some small but important tweaks. For precision trackpads, Microsoft added virtual desktop navigation to the three-finger swipe. All or just one of an application's windows can now be pinned across desktops as well, allowing for more flexibility. For multiple monitors, Microsoft is now making the taskbar clock accessible on the taskbar of each display. The Action Center button is now at the far right of the taskbar, and it will show numerical badges and app icons for notifications as they come in. Those badges will also show up on the app icons themselves if they're listed in the taskbar, but not in Start. The taskbar clock now gets better integration with your calendar, expanding the widget to show an agenda view of the day and a shortcut for creating events. The Action Center gets some much needed attention in the anniversary update. Now empowered by the cloud, notifications get the ability to sync across computers and even platforms to an extent. Windows Mobile and Android can now sync their notifications to a Windows 10 PC, even supporting quick actions like replying to text messages. It's not quite messaging everywhere, the iMessage-like features Microsoft originally planned to include, but it's still a great feature. Notification customization has also been revamped, finally allowing for complete control over an app's notifications. Notifications are bundled by app and can be prioritized above or below other apps. Banners, number of notifications per app, and notification chimes are all open to change. Quick actions are also customizable now, allowing for items to be moved and disabled to the user's whim. Cortana is more powerful than ever, particularly thanks to some exciting new cross-platform features. Smartphones with Cortana installed respond to a number of new commands, sync transit directions, and even send out low battery notifications. Cortana's own notification will now show up in the Action Center in Windows 10 for easy access, along with the notification syncing we mentioned earlier. iOS unfortunately misses out on some of these features, but it's to be expected until Apple opens iOS up further. Reminders in Cortana have been expanded too, with the ability to attach a photo or share content from supported apps directly to a reminder. Edge extensions have finally arrived. A highly anticipated feature, third-party support is limited at launch, but standouts like Adblock and LastPass already have extensions available. They're installed through the Windows Store, and more extensions should be added soon as developer interest hopefully increases. Some smaller features can be found as well. Separate, the features don't sound like much, but together they help round out the browser compared to Firefox or Chrome. Windows Ink isn't new itself, but Microsoft is taking it more seriously in the anniversary update. The Ink workspace has been added, giving an integrated set of tools that can be accessed from anywhere while using Windows. The tools include Sticky Notes for taking quick notes and feature Cortana integration, Sketchpad for making quick sketches and drawings, Screen Sketch for making notes on easy-to-take screenshots, and a list of recently used apps that feature pen support. The Windows Ink APIs used by developers have been expanded too, making it easier for developers to continue supporting the pen in their own apps. The Settings app is continuing to get more and more options consolidated and added, slowly taking over the overwhelming control panel. Dedicated sections for pen and taskbar, as well as subtle reorganizations of the left-hand columns, help to keep everything orderly. A feature called Active Hours has been added to help with the constant barrage of Windows updates. Users can set a 12-hour period where updates will not notify, but it is disappointing that that can't go past 12 hours. Microsoft has made some important changes to the activation process. They now allow Windows 10 licenses to be linked directly to a Microsoft account and added in an activation troubleshooter to help manage license upgrades during reinstalls. Emoji have seen a complete redesign, with more colorful and distinct designs in the new update. 
Dark mode for apps has finally been implemented on a system-wide level as well, though it's still in the beginning stages. Not all apps have dark modes to switch to, and it's not supported in third-party apps, but it's definitely a start. There are numerous changes included for enterprise, education, and developer users, but one of the most impressive new features is the addition of the complete Bash shell from Ubuntu 14.04. This is a completely native implementation, no virtualization tricks here, and has access to the entire file system, though it can't interact with Windows apps or tools. The philosophy of the ever-changing operating system is paying off for Microsoft, allowing them to very quickly undo years of negative impressions built by the image of the slow-moving, user-averse Microsoft of old. There are some truly useful new features on display here, and we can't think of anything in particular that failed to live up to our expectations. It's an impressive update all in all, and it's great to have these sort of updates from Microsoft. Interested in some of the specific features in the anniversary update? You're in luck. We've done a whole series going into detail about everything Microsoft has added. You'll find the links for everything below, and feel free to leave any comments about the anniversary updates as well. Subscribe to the channel because we post new videos all the time, and visit our website at winbeta.org for more Microsoft news and reviews.